All righty, welcome into today's workout where we're gonna be going into that bra area and that back area. I have a lot of requests for this one in particular. I'm gonna show you my top favorite. Now today I'm gonna to be using some long bands in which you can get at bootybands.com. Um, they will be released when I release this video, but they're brand new. Um, as well, you could also use your weights for this. So it really is goes hand in hand, whatever you wanna choose. Um, but today I'm excited to really use these. So let's begin choosing your easier level number uh, level one purple and uh, we're gonna go into our chest fly now you can either do this lying down on the ground you can be kneeling standing sitting it really just depends what works best for you so we're gonna go into a chest fly and the reason why I like it is it really goes into those arms the armpit area and into the bra area and really lifts those boobs so with the chest lifted, the, the core is nice and tight, and the shoulders, the hands are gonna come right where your nipples would be, okay? So a lot of common mistakes is up by your shoulders, so drop it down so it's in alignment with your chest, okay? Now, same thing if you were holding weights, you would just be lying down, doing the same thing, keeping those elbows slightly bent, um, like you have a big beach ball that you're hugging, okay? Here we go, we have a total of seven. Squeezing with each one, really focusing in through the chest, and again, in that armpit area, you're gonna to start to feel it here in a second. But the reason why I like using bands is because you get that positive and that negative, the concentric and the eccentric motion here, which is gonna get you results even faster because your muscles are working a little bit harder. So great work. After seven, we're gonna go ahead and go into the press. So you're just gonna drop your elbows back and then press it straight forward. So think of it going back and forward. So not as much as open that we did at the beginning with the fly but just more straight pressing. Think of it as almost like a push-up that you're doing here. Again, you can do the same motion if you have weights and you're just lying on the ground. You can do this exact same thing. Beautiful. Next one is going to be a rotating chest press. So which means you're gonna go ahead and start with your hands now flipped. So we've had our fingers up towards the ceiling. Now we're gonna go ahead and rotate our hands down and we're just gonna press with the opposite direction here. So just taking it back and press forward. Good, five more. Good. In the middle we have what's called a king burpee. I absolutely love this. You're gonna see it in a lot of my videos. So you're gonna go ahead and take some light weights, just put it up onto your mat. We're gonna go ahead and start um, as a beginner level into a row with a plank. So you're just gonna squeeze up, row it, switch over to the other side, squeeze up, roll it, drop it down into a push-up, bring it up into a mountain climber. You're gonna go ahead and step it up, grab the weights, go into a squat, go into a bicep curl, shoulder press, and then you can't really see me right here, so I'm just gonna drop down, but you can stay standing for this. And then the tricep extension, and then you're just gonna bring it down and bring it down, all right? We're gonna go ahead and do a total of three of those. So same thing, row, push up, mountain climber, squat, bicep curl, shoulder press, tricep extension overhead, drop down, drop down. Good work, row. Beautiful work, King Burpee is done. Let's now go ahead and go back into what we were just doing. This time I'm gonna show you with weights, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit heavier weights as our warm up. we're good. Let's go into our chest fly. Good, three more. Great work, now we're gonna go into the chest press. The palms are facing away from you. You're just gonna drop it down. The elbows are slightly turned down. They're not uh, like in a T position, more of a low V. Squeeze up, let's go for seven.
great work. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate the palms of the hands facing now um, to, uh, behind us, dropping it down so that the weights come at the bottom of the chest and squeezing up. Beautiful work, and of course we have our king burpee. So same thing, if you can add a little bit of some weight here, let's do it. Modification, you just stay onto your knees. You can stay squatting, we're gonna go a little bit advanced here. Choose your level. Anything works. Modifications are always welcome. Okay, good work. I'm already breaking a sweat and it's only been a few minutes. Good work, okay. Let's go ahead and now go into um, our final one. I'm gonna show you now with a long bar, how to do it with that. Again, you can always stick to the bands or the dumbbells, your choice. Okay, so chest fly, you can't really do obviously with a barbell. So we're just gonna go into our press. Here we go. Good, go ahead and open up your arms, the length of the barbell, and again for seven. Good work, and then now, the third one, you're gonna bring your hands pretty narrow. So you started off with shoulder, wider, and now we're gonna go narrow. Beautiful work. And let's go back to our king burpees. Last one, this is it. Beautiful work, awesome job. We're gonna go ahead and end with just a little bit more into the back. Whew, just a few more minutes and you are done. So go ahead and grab your long band. I'm gonna show you some of my top favorites for that back. We're gonna go ahead and take the band up overhead and just squeeze our back and bring that band towards the top of our chest. All right, here we go for seven. Great work. 
Next, we're just gonna take that band, put one foot underneath it, and then as you hinge over, nice flat back, a tabletop back, squeezing those hands by the rib cage and back down. Let's go for seven. And then the last one for posture, bringing the hands straight out in front of you, squeezing that band and bringing it towards the chest. Here we go. Oh my goodness, great work. A nice little stretch it out. I'm gonna show you a little stretch you can do with the band. Go ahead and just put your arms straight up and just get a nice good stretch, bringing the arms in the back. Breathe, big deep inhale. Good, lean it over to one side. And opposite. Good, go ahead and take the band and now behind you, you can bring your head down towards the mat as you just allow your arms to hang up and over. Great. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that now three more times, that stretch, just to really feel it. If you're feeling in the motion and you wanna keep going and repeat any of those workouts, feel free to do so, but I wanna keep these nice and short for those that are really short on time. So, thank you for coming in. Awesome to have you. Again, you can grab your long bands at bootybands.com and I'll see you in the other workouts. Bye, love. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things? water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great, and your new transformation can start today.